We can express a repeated multiplication by using exponential notation. Let n be a whole number. a to the nth power is the product of n factors of a. We say that a is the base and n is the power or the exponent. At an important note, we should always read this as a to the nth power. For example, let's try to rewrite without exponents and then compute the value. Remember, how you speak influences how you think. If you always read exponential expressions as a to the nth power, it's a reminder. Ordinal words like second, third, fourth, seventeenth apply to sequences of similar objects. So we can read this as five to the third power, so it's the product of three factors of five, a first, a second, and a third. And we can find that product, which will be, likewise, three to the fifth power is the product of five factors of three, which will be, Now, unfortunately, mathematicians are human, so while we should read this as a to the second power, we often read it as a squared. And likewise, we should read this as a to the third power, but we often read it as a cubed. This is really only important when we speak rather than when we write, so we might want to find 7 squared and 4 cubed. So remember, 7 squared is really 7 to the second power. So there's two factors of 7, a first and a second, and the product is, and likewise 3 cubed is 3 to the third power, and the product is, If our base is anything other than a whole number or a decimal, we indicate that using parentheses. So, one-third to the fourth power should be written as one-third in parentheses, the whole thing raised to the fourth power. So let's find three-fourths in parentheses to the second and compare it to a very similar looking expression. In the first case, since our base is a fraction, nothing changes. In 3 fourths to the second, we have a first and a second factor of 3 fourths, and we multiply them to get 3. Remember, the fraction bar is a grouping symbol, so when we write this, we really have that 3 to the second in parentheses. And we can compute that, and we find Now remember, a to the nth power is the product of n factors of a, and nothing important changes if the base is a signed number. Since all the factors of an exponential expression are the same, then, if the base is negative, all factors will be negative, so the sign of the product will depend only on the number of factors. This means we can ignore the sign until the end. For example, let's find negative 2 to the third, negative 5 to the second, and negative 1 to the 250th? Eh, well, let's see what happens. So negative 2 to the third is the product of three factors of negative two. Now, if we ignore the signs and just focus on the values, that product is two times two times two, or eight. Since we have three negative factors, the final product is negative. 
about negative 5 to the second. That's two factors of negative 5. And again, ignoring the signs, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. And since our actual product has two negative factors, the final product will be positive. And negative 1 to the 250th power is the product of 250 factors of negative 1. We'll write a couple representative ones and then use the ellipsis to say there's a whole bunch more like this. Now, multiplying any number of 1s together gives us 1. Since 250 is even, there will be an even number of negative factors, so the product is positive. And if we have a negative fraction to a power, this is the product of three factors of negative two-fifths, so we can write them out, and we find Be extremely careful when working with signed exponential expressions. It helps if you think of powers as an abbreviation and not as an operation. So 3 to the 4th means the product of 4 factors of 3. Whatever it actually is is something we can compute later. What it means is this product. So, for example, let's try to evaluate these two expressions. In the first expression, the parentheses mean that negative 3 is the base, which appears four times. So this first expression will be four factors of negative 3 multiplied together, which will be Meanwhile, in our second expression, we should read this as the negative of 3 to the 4th. In other words, 3 is our base. So that's the negative of 4 factors of 3 multiplied together, which will be...